Why is life so full of suffering? You know, it's such a profound and awful question, you hardly dare touch it. Um, but thinking about it from an evolutionary point of view, there's a quite specific answer. Most of the kinds of suffering we experience, whether it's pain or even vomiting or fever or anxiety or depression, those are adaptive defenses in their place. The question is, why do they get dysregulated? Why do, why do we have so much of them when we don't really need it? And it's because of how natural selection has shaped the mechanisms that regulate them. It shaped them to go off when they could possibly be useful because most of them are inexpensive. And as a result, many of us spend our lives feeling like we're missing something or too anxious or depressed or something or in pain. And we don't need these feelings in modern life especially, but even in earlier life. But they've been good for our genes, for our ancestors, on the average, so we have them. It's the smoke detector principle again. It is the smoke detector principle. It has profound implications for the future and our ability to change human life. You know, right now we're in the midst of a revolution in psychopharmacology where we're beginning to use medications to influence our anxiety and our mood and all of the rest. Usually that's talked about in terms of the brain being broken in some way, and in, in as many people it is. But in many people, they're having more of an emotional negative response than is useful. And blocking that response with medications is just as useful and appropriate as, as blocking a fever with aspirin. And it's doing very much the same kind of thing. But the key is thinking about what we're doing. And the key to thinking about what we're doing is asking the evolutionary question about why hasn't natural selection made the body better? Right.